compass we know is something with a magnometer rather which is used for navigation and uh, orientation which shows direction in regards to the geographical points cardinal points so now uh, origin was started in the early 1866 Uh, so the history of the Mariner's compass is something like that. The investigations were published uh, in a paper, uh, which is titled as "Study uh, Interno." And uh, what other person like Tomato Bottoli? What he did was his conclusions were that uh, the difference in the origin basically was like some thought it was a Chinese. It was compass was invented by uh, the later contribution. So like someone well preferred that it was. Uh, maintained by a person known as amalfi who was an italian so basically uh, like the mariner's compass uh, help us obviously as it's a compass it will help us to know the direction uh, while uh, in the navigation process and uh, how how the structure is like it's mounted on a wooden box okay so there is uh, there is uh, the lid the lid is currently it's not there and there is a single iron needle with a brass cap that is present on the spike projecting the bottom of the boat so it even consists of some lead down and uh, like to keep to keep hold and to keep it fixed so now the construction part uh, would be continued further yeah for the construction part in this a magnetic rod is required when we can uh, when we construct a compass so this can be created by aligning an iron or a steel rod with earth's magnetic field and then tempering or striking it however this method produces only a weak magnet so other methods are preferred now in at the, uh, as we look into it in the modern era there is 360 degree system that took hold of it and uh, this system is still used today for civilian navigators the degree system spaces 360 equidistant points located clockwise around the compass dial so the earth's magnetic field inclination and the intensity vary accordingly at different latitudes and compasses are most often balanced during manufacture so that the dial or needle will be level eliminating the need, uh, that the needle drag which can give inaccurate readings So most manufacturer balance their compass needles for one of five zones ranging from zone 1 and to the uh, north hemisphere to zone 5 it covers the australia and the southern oceans there are also other magnetic compasses uh, and they are slight uh, small counterweight installed on the needle it, uh, in itself so this sliding counterweight called a rider can be used for counter balancing the needle again the dip caused by inclination of this compass is taken to a zone with a higher or lower dip so we come back to the uh, working of the working of the compass how the compass works as we all know that opposite poles of magnet attract and our earth is not but a giant magnet rotating in space The metal needle inside a compass is also a magnet which is attracted by the magnetic poles of earth and thus always point in the north south direction Now north south aligned when the compass is rotated the earth's magnetic torque acts on the needle thus always keeping it aligned in the north south direction Compasses on ship In early days compass was majorly used for navigation through sea routes navigators in boat held the compass in line with the front of the boat so that they can determine where the boat was heading exactly compass in modern days compass is still used in this modern era with some required modification You may now think what kind of modification would such a simple and neat device need? Well, we will take a look at what exactly went wrong. Compass needle points towards the magnetic south pole or north pole which does not coincide with the actual geographical north. The angle between this true north and magnetic north is called declination angle. Declination is directly proportional to the amount of mess it can create in your travel, since it can be very misleading in some cases. 
declaration on maps our ancestors didn't know about this concept but we do modern day maps come with the current value of this declaration for various ocean the magnetic north pole has an annoying habit of changing its position with time hence one needs to use a recent updated map and not use the outdated ones thank you